In this video, we're going to learn about getter methods and setter methods. Now, before we do that, it's important to understand how these property variables work. Now, in our scene, we've got a Boolean variable called getCow that starts off as false. And since there's only one scene, there's only one variable getCow we have to worry about. However, with our Billy Goat class, we have two different Billy Goats. So each of these billy goats has its own life variable that starts out at 5. So this billy goat has a life variable that starts out at 5, and this billy goat has a life variable that starts out at 5. So when we access or check the life variable, we need to specify whether it's the billy goat 1 or whether it's billy goat 2. Because we can change the life variable on billy goat 1, and it will not change the life variable on billy goat 2. So let's go to my first method. First, let's look at a getter method. All right, so we're going to go to functions. Since a getter method returns some information, it's going to be a function. And we're in Billy Goat 2, so we're going to get the life of Billy Goat 2. Now, we can't just put this in here because, again, we have to have that go somewhere. So I'm going to have the Billy Goat say something. I'm going to have the Billy Goat say my life is in the space and then I'm going to concatenate it I'll just concatenate it with a random thing and then I'm going to overwrite the concatenation with get life so so it's going to say my life is and then whatever number the a variable life in Billy Goat 2 holds so right now, we've left it at 5, so Billy Goat 2 should say, my life is 5. There we go. Now we're going to use a setter method that's going to change the value of the life variable. So again, we're still on Billy Goat 2. We're going to go to Procedure, and we're going to grab a set life. So now we're going to set it to, let's say, 1. So we'll set the life in Billy Goat 2 to 1. Then we're going to output his life. We run it. And now he's saying my life is 1. Now notice, let's go to Billy Goat 1. And let's have him say what his life is. So again, we're going to say, my life is, we're going to concatenate this with another string. Then we're going to go to functions. We're going to overwrite the second string with the value of his get life variable. So first, Billy Goat 2, we're going to change his life to 1. We're going to have Billy Goat 2 say what his life is. And then we're going to have Billy Goat 1 say what his life is. Billy Goat 2 says my life is 1. Billy Goat 1, see his life is still 5 because the life variable for Billy Goat 1 is completely different than the life variable for Billy Goat 2. When we set a property, this property creates a new variable for every instance of the class. So if we made 100 Billy Goats, each one would have its own life variable that starts out at 5. So in review, we've learned how to use a getter method, which gets the value of a variable, and we've learned how to use a setter method that sets or changes the value of a variable.